When you first implement a Power BI report at your workplace, you cannot forget that it is a new tool for many or maybe all of your colleagues. Potentially, this is the first time they use the tool or use any sort of data visualization rather than just plain Excel reports. So what can you do to help them to find those crucial insights quicker, easier and just in general, help them to master Power BI? Apart from running lots of training sessions, you can create predefined corporate-wide bookmarks that your colleagues can see and use within a click of a button. And this is going to be our topic for today. Let's roll the intro. Welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to help you master Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Power BI tutorials. Hitting the like button wouldn't hurt either. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some high level bookmarks that could guide first time Power BI report users. One of the many reasons why I love this approach is because I can create a handful of these bookmarks and then my users will only see what's relevant to them. It means that when raw level security kicks in for report consumers, top end products or top end customers will be filtered down to their responsibility even though I created the bookmark for the whole organization. Please note that in this tutorial, I'm not going to talk about RLS implementation. If you want to learn about that, check out my RLS tutorials. Link is here and here or here and in the description below. With that said, let's head over to Power BI Desktop and create a few bookmarks. I'm going to start with sales bookmarks. First of all, before we do any slicing and dicing, create a bookmark that we're going to call start over. This could serve as a reset button for all report users. Then the second bookmark should be a top 10 products at the product name level. I just drill into the products visual at the top right a few times, make sure that the sort order is by year to date sales, and open up the filter panel. Find the name field and create a top end filter by year to date sales. Click on apply filter and now if you have a look at the visual it only contains the top 10 products based on year to date sales. Let me highlight or add spotlight to this visual and then create our first quick insight for our team. Let's call it top 10 products. Wasn't too difficult right? But before we test it on the service, let me create a few more. The second one is going to help us identify products where we lose the most money compared to last year. I keep using the bar chart, but now, under the filter panel, I change the top 10 to bottom 10 and replace year-to-date sales with year-to-date sales difference. To spice it up a little, let's show this as a table so we can see dollar values for the difference as well. And now we can add the bookmark like this. I don't want to bore you to death with these bookmark creations, so let me just apply some video editing skills and cut to the point where I have all bookmarks ready. Alrighty, so I have three quick insights for my colleagues on the sales report. Top 10 products, top 10 erosion products, and top 15 high potential customers. And on the finance report page, I have two bookmarks. One for the full previous financial year and another one for the last six months. But now it's time to see these on the service, so let's head over to the published report. I'm logged in as me, the report creator who has access to all data. To see those predefined company bookmarks, I just need to click on the bookmarks button and show more bookmarks. And here they are, grouped nicely and logically, just how I had them in Power BI Desktop. When I select them, each and every bookmark is going to show me those super quick insights that I wanted to share with my report consumers. Not only that, if there are some sort of a business need or generally approved set of KPIs, I can also predefine them as bookmarks for easy access. But now, let's see what happens when I log in as another user, let's say Ted, the head of the automotive department and bilingual analytics. As you see, it is now Ted's profile in the service. Let's reveal these corporate bookmarks for Ted. Once I select the top 10 products bookmark, it will be limited to the automotive product portfolio. This is when role level security kicks in. 
I love how convenient it is. But let me just add to the left the top 10 products for the whole company, so you will see these lists are completely different. Following the same logic, once I click on the top eroding product bookmark, then this view is going to reveal to Ted those items where his department is losing the most. And of course, the same goes for the top 15 high potential customer bookmark. Additionally, Ted, just like any other users within the company, could easily switch from sales reporting to finance reports and quick insights from the financial figures by selecting one of the predefined finance bookmarks. Isn't this fantastic? So, what are the key benefits of creating predefined, company-wide bookmarks? First of all, they can help report users to get familiar with Power BI. Don't forget, it might be a new tool for them and they will need as much guidance as possible. Let me add a quick side note here. In my opinion, these bookmarks cannot replace proper training sessions. Secondly, they can identify measures, or I should rather say strategies, that are important to the company. If the main goal is to grow sales year on year, then something similar to my top 10 eroding products bookmark would be fantastic. In case the company would like to measure sales from newly introduced products, then you, as a report creator, can create a bookmark dedicated for that analysis. In other words, they can help in finding those business critical insights that all of us are dying for. What do you think about these predefined report bookmarks? Have you used them before? Are you going to create some in the future? Let me know in the comment section below along with any other questions that you have about bookmarks. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's video and you will be able to implement this for your reports. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave or before you watch one from the above videos. Until the next one, see ya!